in every way, shape, and form, Eric is so incredibly intuitive and talented and so full of life and feel that it was just a breeze playing music with him, which puts you at ease, which makes you stronger, smarter, better ideas, happier, all these things. So I can't really merge enough things into what he's made better about this band. It's kind of crazy, I mean, just coming from the background that I, I came from sort of like a jazz background and so <laughs> I, I, this is kind of still a new world for me even though I've been in the band for two years I'm still kind of getting adjusted to the popularity of it and I'm still kind of amazed that people are, are so into it I mean I, I believe in Dr. Dog because I've been a fan for a really long time but it's just kind of crazy to me that there's so many people that are behind it and it's really inspiring and a beautiful thing. The biggest, most significant change and, and the one that brought the most to the table and also brought a lot of other things, pulled a lot of things further along, things that have been marinating thin our ideas and everything has been Eric Slick. I think that I was always searching for it up until this point. Not to say that I've like found it now, but in in being in this band initially, I think I was a little bit nervous about having to replace Justin. We've just kept encouraging him, encouraging him to this day, keep encouraging him to just be himself, because he joined the band, like you said, a fan, and very sensitive to his role, which is to like fill in something that had already been there and play the parts as they were written and play the parts as he had seen them live and this kind of thing. It's an interesting thing because I think I, I just approached the songs as Justin would have played them for a long time and I was just trying to get comfortable playing with these guys and understanding what their idea of like the pocket is or what the groove is, you know, or what the song is is supposed to sound like or what the arc of the song is supposed to be and so a lot of the times I was just kind of searching around and trying to find what, you know, trying to find what Justin did and then sort of embellish upon that. It was his respect for the band that led him to think that that's what he needed to be doing. But as time has progressed, it's been really exciting to see him just kind of be more of himself. And now the way I feel about it is I've played these songs so many times with the guys that like, I'm just trying to take my own approach with it and hopefully that's gonna work. But I only would have arrived at that through recording with them, like understanding their creative process. I found that recording has helped a lot with that. The more songs he records with us, the more I feel like he actually feels like a part of the music. It was the was the beginning of that next step of un, like, okay, this is the way I'm gonna approach the drum parts. From like, this is how I would have approached them had I been with them back then or something like that. And so, um, yeah, it's been a cool it's been a cool experience. Like. Figuring that whole thing out and like <laughs> knowing what's appropriate and what's not appropriate, but it, it only comes with time, you know? It's just been really good and I feel like it's only going to get better with him because there, he's, he's so open-minded, he's so quick, he's so competent, and he's just so good that uh, you can throw any old turd of a song at him and he'll, he'll make it feel awesome. Every band in the world would be better to, to have one. Same and Eric Dimitri. Slick. And Eric Slick, yeah. <laughs> like on this past tour we just finished, which is the first tour after we recorded our first album with him, he was playing way differently and it was so exciting and it was more Eric. Like, and in that moment, that's what you want. You want the, li the liveliness of each musician coming out.